This is JP Lane. I've been painting seriously for about 20 years and have taught painting classes to individuals and groups here in Northern California. I also wrote this coffee table book of paintings and stories about the Central Valley. I designed a class that I'm very excited about called Paint Your Memories. It took me a while to crack the code about how I wanted to teach the class, and it's largely based on an attempt to solve some of the biggest problems I think people experience when they attend a paint and sip class. For one, the class sizes are too big to get the personal attention you need. In an effort to make more money, they cram more and more people into these places. They use cheap materials like student-grade acrylics and are even stingy with the drinks. But the biggest problem I've found is that people are painting a subject that simply doesn't mean anything to them. Even when someone executes their painting effectively, is it really something that they will care about enough to put in their home or office? So I've decided to turn this whole thing on its head. In the Paint Your Memories class, each person who signs up will send me a photo of something that is sentimental to them. Maybe their childhood home, or a place they visited on vacation. The key is to choose a photo that is sentimental and still manageable. One thing that is never talked about is time. People will tell me that they don't have artistic talent, but the real challenge is having enough time to create the painting. That's why starting with a drawing and a clear painting plan will buy everyone a lot of time. When you show up to class, the image will already be drawn for you and the materials are ready to go, so you can have time to mingle and socialize too. This person submitted this photo from her garden. The painting plan includes tips on lights and darks. Here she is using this masking pen to cover parts of the painting that she wants to paint lighter at the end. This allows you to really paint freely because you don't have to paint around things. And here's how it turned out. Another attendee visited Japan and sent this photo that he had taken himself. We worked on getting the values right, which are the lights and darks. And this person is a police officer and wanted a cruiser in front of the state capitol. Again, each person is working on their own painting. And I walk around and explain what you need to do next. I can mix a color for you if it's tricky or demonstrate how to use your brush for an important part of your painting. All this personal attention means that these classes need to be small. And I've decided that painting in watercolors is a good approach because we'll be able to dry the painting along the way and continue with the next steps. I spent a lot of time choosing high quality materials. So you'll be painting on Arches 100% cotton paper. It's incredible paper and it's not cheap. The paints are Daniel Smith and Holbein, which are premier artist grade paints. Professional grade materials cost more money, but if you want to give someone a chance to create a great painting, you really can't skimp on the quality of the materials. And then finally, I will frame your painting before you leave. That's included in the price. I worked at a frame shop years ago, so I'm very experienced with matting and framing. And in the end, you'll leave with a painting from your own photo that you painted, and it's ready to hang on your wall. It's taken me a long time to design this class, and I'm excited to offer it to groups. So contact me if you'd like to host an event like this, and I'll walk you through it. I'm willing to travel within a few hours of Sacramento, and I will also be advertising classes on places like Facebook and Groupon, and I'm excited to help you and your friends paint your memories.